there's a way to make an entrance. This is my destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. In the run-up to Crufts, 30 of Britain's most talented canines will be battling it out in a bid to be crowned Superstar Dog 2014. They'll be making waves in swim and fetch, giving it their all in sprint ball, celebrating goals in the penalty shootout, and jumping to victory in the dogstickle course. But there can only be one Superstar Dog. Superstar Dogs, the competition that sees everyday pets and their owners take part in three nail-biting events as they battle for the crown of Superstar Dog 2014 and a grand unveiling at this year's Crufts. Yeah. Joining me today's teams, please welcome from Norfolk, Freddie and his owner, Carl. Freddie is a four-year-old competitive Labrador retriever. From Hertfordshire, give a warm welcome for Smurf and his owner, Sarah. Little Trickster Smurf is a four-year-old Parsons Russell Terrier. And last but not least, from Milton Keynes, put your hands together for Morse and his owner, Anne. Gentle Giant Morse is a two-year-old St. Bernard Newfoundland Cross. Freddy. Hi, Freddy. How are you, bubs? Freddy looks really calm. He is. He's, he's doing well. You guys as a team, how do you work together? Uh, we got on well, but to be honest with you, I've kind of given up trying to read him, so if you want to know how he's going to get on, you better ask him yourself. Freddy. Sit nice. Can Good. I have a paw to shake? No? <laughs> I'll get a kiss, though. <laughs> Sarah. Hello. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm well. Hi, Smurf. He's a little dog. Uh, he's a big dog inside a little body. Is he really fast? Yeah, but not necessarily in the right direction. <laughs> and then Morse. Hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. Morse is a big guy. Yep. Now, is Morse better on the track, or is he going to be good in the swimming pool? Who knows? <laughs> is he a competitive dog? Again, depends. <laughs> like... Does he know it's a competition? No. <laughs> Do you? No. <laughs> All right, that's our teams, everyone. Time for the first event. It's Swim and Fetch. Faced with a colossal 40-foot swimming pool, this event is all about teamwork. There's no room for error, as the owner must throw their dog's favorite toy beyond the correct colored flag. It's red for large dogs, blue for medium, and white for small. Then it's down to their daring dog to launch themselves off the deck, or race down the ramp to retrieve their toy in the fastest possible time. The clock stops when the toy lands in the container. It's three points for top dog, two for second place, and just one for the slowest team. Freddie and Carl are up first. Let's find out some more about one man and his dog. We've been training Freddie since he was around 12 weeks old. He's done gun dog training, tribal training, agility training, and general obedience. To be honest, he's done really well at all of it. He's a good boy. These are some of the awards that me and Freddie have won. He's come first, second, and third on quite a few occasions. Freddie's successful in whatever he does because of our bond, really. <laughs> Freddie and I go out for long walks. We have lots of fun and get very wet. <laughs> Freddie and I have entered the competition for fun mainly, but we will be going all out for winning, won't we, Fred? Yeah. <laughs> Freddie and Carl, you're first up. You don't feel any pressure? Not at all, not at all. Look at him. Does he look like he's in trouble? <laughs> what do you think you're going to get time-wise? If we can get anything under 20 seconds, I'll be delighted with that. All right, so are you going off the deck or are you going off the ramp? Uh, we're going to go for it. We're going off the deck. You're going off the yeah. deck? Yeah. Right. Good luck to Freddie and Carl! Okay. Freddie looking very confident. Our distinguished referee Dave Ray, adjudicator extraordinaire from the Kennel Club. Freddie, a large dog. Carl's got to throw past that red flag. Carl, are you ready? And it's in three, two, one, go! Off we go. Good throw that, not too long. Thinking about it, thinking about it, but in he goes. Nice jump, too. On, Quick in the water. Freddie's used to that. How about the pickup? It is clean. Carl's holding him 
back with a whistle. There's that gum dog training for you. Heading for the ramp now. Quick B up it. That's a bit of a fumble. That's going to cost them a little bit, but in it goes. <laughs> well done, Freddie. A bit of hesitation, but he leaped right off. There was a bit of hesitation. He had a very good throw. There we go, past the red flag. And then Freddie read it. <laughs> I'm not too sure. The brakes are on, and boom, in. Right. You said you wanted to do it in under 20. You did it in 24.18 seconds. OK. That is not a bad time. Okay, so a big round of applause for Freddie and Owner Carl. Yeah. Thank you. The next dog on the dock is Showbiz Smurf and his owner, Sarah. Smurf is a terrier, and he is my little white shadow. Smurf's done a few bits for TV, and he's been the canine film star. And he's done some photo shoots, too. Smurf loves to perform. He oozes charisma. He is born to be a star. And he learns things very quickly. I just show him and hey presto, off he goes. He means the world to me. I would like to think if he could speak, he'd probably say the same. Smurf, how are you, bud? Now, Sarah, he's got, he's got a life jacket on. It's there to keep his back warm. So what toy are you going to use today? That's an interesting toy. Is that so he can grab it's if so he can't fit it around his mouth? He keeps dunking it in the water and then he takes it in the water and chokes. <laughs> so, that's so you've got the toy, you've got the life jacket on. Uh -huh. Are you going to go off the deck or I, are you going to go off the ramp? Yeah, no, I hold no shame in the ramp. So the time to beat is 24.18 seconds. Smurf is raring to go. Best of luck to you both. Thank you, John, wearing to go and uh, got a life jacket on as well. Perfectly within the rules, as is his funny looking ball. White flag Sarah, for Smurf, he is a small dog. Three, three, two, one, go! We are off. Great throw, absolutely perfect distance. No hesitation at all from Smurf. Really good pickup. This is going to be so fast, this is really, really good. How about the transition? Dropped it nicely. And in it goes. That's absolutely excellent. What a good boy. Smurf, that was awesome, buddy. Worth me a star. The time that you had to beat was 24.18 yeah. seconds. It's a fast time. Do it you think you beat it? No. You did, because you did in 17.31 <laughs> seconds. Hey. And that puts you in first oh. place. Woo. Put your hands together, everybody, for Sarah and Showbiz Lovey Smurf. <laughs> the last team are probably going to make the biggest waves. It's St. Bernard Morse and his owner, Anne. Morse is adorable. He's cuddly, he's kind-natured, he's fun. He's just a perfect dog. Good job. I'm really looking forward to the competition. We've been going to the local park to practice the penalty shootout. And we're nearly there. Nine times out of ten we'll do it, but there's always the tenth. Having a big dog is a tremendous challenge because they've got to be well trained. It's an added cost of having a big dog. He likes his food. Very expensive. When it's rainy, it's absolutely hell. Horse loves mud, puddles, anything messy really. Don't drink it. It's like living with a horse, but he's worth it. He really is. The thing I love about a dog this size, wherever the dog goes, you have to go. So if I kind of go whoosh, and he goes whoosh, you're going to get dragged right in the water. Uh, Morse, are you ready to go, buddy? Please, let me jump. This <laughs> again, Morse. Well, are you going to go off the, the, the deck, or are you going to go off the, the ramp? He's a kind of have-a-go dog. We're going to do the dock. The time to beat is 17.31 seconds. Good luck, Morse and Ann. A big challenge for a big dog. Dave Ray smiling, loves Morse. They've got to go Are past the red flag. In three, two, one, go! Off they go. A very long throw. That will cost them precious seconds. Morse straight in. Great jump from the big man. And quick in the water as well. Those powerful legs really getting going. A couple of bites of the ball. Do you know, I think he might have eaten it. I don't know what it says about that in the rules. What about the ramp? 
nice and leisurely. Is she going to get the ball off him? A bit of a fumble. That's good. That's good. Now the shake. Oh, clear the decks for that. Morris, that was great. He's like, I want to get back in. That was really good. Thanks. That, you should be very pleased with that. I am, yeah. It's, my ball throwing skills let him down, unfortunately. Actually, the throw was a bit far, I think. And also, you couldn't get the ball out of his mouth now. There you go. <laughs> At, but right in the cylinder. Morris, you want the ball back again, don't you? Oh! <laughs> um, the time to beat was 17.31 seconds. You did it in 33.56 seconds. Yeah. Well, Morse is uh, taken to a safe distance and he's about to shake off the water. Let's see how the leaderboard is shaping up after one event. Well, John, bringing up the rear, the gentle giant Morse and Anne, just one point. In second place are Freddie and Carl with two. In top spot with three points, Supersonic Smurf and Sarah. Pocket Rocket Smurf and owner Sarah are sitting pretty at the top of the leaderboard. But that could soon change. All of today's teams are competing for a place in the semifinals. It's time for event number two. It's penalty shootout. With just two minutes on the clock, all three teams go head to head as the dogs take to the pitch in a bid to shoot up the five balls into the back of the net. As always, three points for the winner, two for second place, and just one for the loser. But with a golden ball that's worth an extra point on the leaderboard, let's hope our teams are match fit. So, Sarah, Smurf's a little dog. How's yeah. he going to be with big balls? Oh, it's a great combination, isn't it? It's going to be a really good combination. <laughs> good luck to you both. Thank you. Freddie and Carl, are you going to focus on the golden ball? We certainly are. We need all the points we can get. And he's a golden dog, so we'll go for a golden ball. And are you ready for this? This one, we've got no chance. You've got no chance. <laughs> see, I think you're playing a little bit of mind games over here. <laughs> all right, you well, let's it. see how it all goes, because it's time to kick off and play Penalty Shootout. A reminder, the dogs go head-to-head -head in this penalty shootout. Golden dog, is he after the golden ball? Morse, well, Anne, not that confident. Perhaps more mind games being played. And you'll oh, notice you the ready? owners aren't allowed to come out of their white boxes. All about control, this. Go! Off we go. Who's going to score first? Kicking towards Freddy here, looking promising. Far oh, straight in, great strike, opening goal for Freddy. Smurf, is he going to pull one back? He is, you know, one apiece. These two neck and neck, shaping up to be a cracking match. Looking at Morse, he's not too sure what's required of him. He's more of a rugby chap. Freddy and Carl concentrating on the golden ball. Oh, hold on, hold on, that is a golden ball for Freddy. Extra point on the leaderboard, great stuff. They said they're going to focus on that. Morse, he's banged one in, fantastic work. Checking on Smurf. Bit of showboating in the box there. Another one for Morse. Powerful head just knocking the ball in willy-nilly. That's three now. Come on, Smurf, she says. Focus. Focus. Another goal for Smurf. That ball looks bigger than him. Looking for Freddy. Yep. Freddy's got another one in. And the golden ball, an extra point on the leaderboard. They're blazing into the lead. What about Morse having a bit of a snack there? Half-time oranges, I guess. Smurf still struggling on the goal line. Oh, another one in there for Smurf. The crowd are loving this one. What a match. What a match. It's the end of it. The whistle's gone. Well done, everyone. Morse, were you pleased with that? And were you pleased with I was that? I static with that, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, because you, you thought that was not yep. going to happen at all. That wasn't embarrassing. So, Sarah. I was thrilled with his effort, his level of concentration, that it was quite distracting. I feel like I need to call off in the pool now. <laughs> Freddie, Carl. Happy with that. Very happy. Was it the man of the match performance? Oh, it's brilliant. And I've got to say, the, the, the crowd as well, when the golden ball went in, I think it spurred him on, actually. So, thank you. Let's take a look and see who is top dog on the leaderboard now. No change for Morse and Anne. They're bottom with two points and face a 20-second penalty in the Dogstacle course. Smurf and Sarah dropped a second with five, a 10-second penalty awaiting them. But a four-point win on penalty shootout for getting the golden ball. Six points and no time penalties for Freddie and Carl. There's just one more event lying between today's teams and that place in the semi-finals. It's the Dogstacle course. 
marathon labyrinth of jumps, tunnels, bridges, and the mouth-watering Temptation Alley. This is the Dogstickle Course. A hard one to complete, with time penalties imposed for any errors. Only the fastest team will earn their place in the semifinals, so this event really is dog eat dog. In last place and going first with a 20 second penalty, it's the big friendly giant Morse and his owner, Anne. And Morse has been a big crowd favorite today, but can he pull this one out of the bag? And focusing on the course, committing all to memory. And you can start in your own time. Dave setting them off. He's Wait. got his eyes on them all, of course. He doesn't miss a trick. Morse is off in a dash, dot, dot, dash. Good boy. He's OK over those jumps. Little turn, little spin. Oh, what about Anne? She seems to have lost her way a bit. What was she thinking about at the start line, I wonder? Perhaps having a bit of dinner. It'll bark at the referee. Is that Morse code? Doing OK at the moment. He's a big dog. He loves his food. Will the sausages, the bones, all those treats in Temptation Alley be his downfall? Penalties, remember, for every delicious treat he's tempted by. He's gone through OK. Oh, no, he's gone back and inspected the bone. John getting excited. He's all right through those weeds and luring him with treats. It's not really working. Referee Dave signalling a penalty. Nothing gets past our Dave, does it? And now the jump Over. section looming. Over. Nicely Over. done, Morse. Nicely Over. done. It's a quick middle section Over. and picking up a bit Over. of speed, finding Over. her way at last. Through we go to the tunnel. Neat and clean. Doing it all in his own time is Morse. Hopping over those jumps. How about the old bridge there? Usually troublesome for the bigger dogs. Not for more so. Oh, where's he gone now? Doing a spot of sightseeing, isn't he? Crowd loving it. The tunnel. Good old Morse. Well done, lad. Final set of jumps. Morse, a mind of his own. You know, it might have been quicker if Anne had ridden him round but hugely entertaining. Well done, lad. All right, Morse, good man, well done. Good boy. Are you pleased? I'm absolutely thrilled with him, but he had a go. That's all I can ask. You proved that size does not matter. <laughs> all right, so you started in last place with a 20-second penalty, and you just incurred 15 seconds in penalties, OK? Giving you a total of Two minutes and 20 seconds! <laughs> that is the time to beat, and I'm telling you, that's a very good time. So, fingers crossed, and well done to Ann and Morse! <laughs> Up next, it's Celebrity Terrier Smurf and Sarah. Yes, John, here we go with the turn of the little fella. The jumps have been slightly lowered for Smurf. All's fair. Sarah, you can start in your own time. You stay. Oh, look at him go. He's practically flying over that A-frame. Down he goes over the hedge. Was that a little mistake? Sarah sending him back. Dave signaling a penalty. Off they go again. Very tidy and very quick indeed. It's Temptation Alley. Lie down and you leave it. Stay. Leave it. Great concentration. Leave it. And cleanly through, clean as a whistle, into the weeds. Nobody's done that one quicker. Blink, you know, you'll miss this little white bullet. Into the fast middle section. And into the tunnel for the first time. No hesitation, great concentration. This is going to be very, very good. Through the tunnel again, super, super fast. The standard to beat, no question about that. Absolutely brilliant. Good boy. Smirk, my man. That was awesome. That was good. That was well done. Thank you. Very good. Do you think it was a good run? I hope so. Do you know, I was filled with him. Temptation Alley, he was pretty good through. That bone has a real aroma oh, from yeah. it. I, so, I fancied a bite myself. Did you? I did. <laughs> the biggest dog set the time to beat of 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Has Smurf, the smallest dog, beaten that time? You incurred 10 seconds oh, in dear. penalties, giving you an overall time of... One minute and three seconds, which now puts you in first place.
They proved themselves on the football field, but how will they cope on the dogsicle course? Fighting for that place in the semi-final, it's Freddie and Carl. Carl absolutely focused. Freddie having to think about things. One minute, three seconds, quite a time to beat this, their final test. Carl, it's in your own time. You can start whenever you're ready. Referee Dave sets them off. They've been quite a Wait. team today. Wait. Over. Steady, steady, steady. Good steady. start. Touch, no touch, problem touch, over touch, the A frame. Over, over. Through the jumps here, here, here. tidily as well. Over. Bit wide on that one. How about the tyre? That is good. It's going to be a quick Stop. first section, all right. Now, Temptation Wait. Alley. We all know Labradors have a tendency Wait. towards greediness. Will Freddie be lured Wait. by anything here? Wait. Wait. Wonderful concentration on the face. Come on, Fred. Come on. Oh, he's gone clean through Wait. and Wait. into Wait. the Come weaves. On. Lots Come of dogs on. struggle Wait. here. Wait. Tail no, wagging, yeah. but a bit Look. confused. Wait. Weave, here, here, here. Weave. Freddy here. through nice Weave. and quickly. Did Boy. Carl do it's a over. bit of topiary there? Here, 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 here. Over the it's jumps, over. going over. well so far. Here, here, here. It'll slip on the surface, tunnel. bit of a wide turn. Come First here. time through the tunnel. And they've missed Good. that jump out. That's going to cost them in What's penalties. A little pause on the bridge Come there. On. He's not sure. Perhaps he can smell a bit of morse. No. No, thank you very much. I don't fancy yeah. that one. Yeah. Come on. Carl trying absolutely on. everything to get him up there. He Come is up. On. Come on. Stop, 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 stop. And he is yeah, through. Yeah, That's yeah. fine. Tunnel. It's the tunnel for the second time. He has got to make up over. a bit of speed in the last section. Good it's luck. good. It's fast. But will it be enough to beat Sarah good and Smurf? Good luck. <laughs> Freddie, well done. Well done, Carl. Thank you. How do you think it went? The course went really well, apart from we had a little bit of a problem on the on the bridge. That wasn't the only problem you had either, because you came out of the tunnel and you missed a jump. Oh, I didn't realise that. That incurred a 15-second okay. penalty on, on that. So you started with no penalties, and you incurred 25 seconds in penalties, giving you a total time of... 1 minute and 28 seconds, which means going through to the semi-final is Smurf and Sarah! Commiserations to both of you guys, but it's not all bad news because our fastest two losers will also go through to our semifinals. With those times, you guys may have a chance, so let's take a look at the leaderboard. With a time of 2 minutes 20, Morse and Anne fall short of making the top two of the leaderboard, but Freddie and Carl could bounce back. With a time of 1 minute 28, they could be joining Poppy and Lauren in our semifinals. Six heats left to go, though. Will anyone beat their time? So that's it for today. Speed Merchant Smurf and Sarah are off to enjoy their victory. They'll be back for the semifinals. To find out more about today's events, make sure you visit our website. Join us next time when three more teams go paw to paw in a bit to be crowned Superstar Dog. Goodbye, everybody.